We are going to talk about a movie. This is gonna be a disaster. It was one of the best movies of the year. It's gonna um, go so well. This Probably one of the last movies I would ever want to see in a theater. What is going on everybody? Taylor here and today I'm going to be reacting to the second trailer for Detective Pikachu. It dropped yesterday as I'm filming this. Um, I'm very interested to check this trailer out. The first trailer that dropped got me very interested in a property that I was not very interested in at all. Um, when I was a kid I collected Pokemon cards and really enjoyed playing the games and was very much into it. Um, not so much anymore. I did play Pokemon Go when it came out for a couple weeks but that's about it as far as involvement with it goes currently for me. But like I said with the first trailer I was won over a little bit. So let's check out what the second trailer has to offer us. So there I was. I woke up with a heavy case of amnesia in the middle of nowhere. The only clue to my past is Harry's name and address inside this hat. So I made my way to the apartment and that's when I found you and your stapler gun. Stop talking, you're a hallucination. You're a hallucination. So you're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I can stop whenever I want. These are just choices. Another round, extra shot. Black as night, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Harry got in too deep. Mixed up with the wrong crowd, that kind of thing. Look, you can talk to humans. I can talk to Pokemon. And if you want to find your pops, we're going to need each other. No, I don't need a Pokemon. And what about a world-class detective? Ah, my clues. What is all this? Harry is still alive. Case closed, but still open until I solve it. All right, here it is. Harry faked his own death. Or somebody else faked Harry's death. Or Harry faked somebody else's death. That last one doesn't work no. at all. <laughs> So I'll just do it again. Hey, bud, what are you doing? I can't do it when people are watching. Get me the hell out of here! Pika, Pika! Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> Crazy. That's a twist. That's very twisty. Get him! He's barely moving. Don't tell him that. Oh, he's on a bike. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet. Oh, my God. All right, well, these trailers are winning me over, which makes me nervous. Like, these, these trailers are so much fun. Like, that has just such a fun energy to it. I think the humor hits really well. And if the humor is able to hit that well throughout the entire movie and there aren't a lot of kind of throwaway jokes, then I think it's going to do very well. Um, I think that the Pokemon all look great. I think they're visually done very well. I think that the idea of, po of Pikachu having this Ryan Reynolds voice is growing on me a little bit because at first I was really not buying it. And... I think that they're setting up a really cool story. We obviously know that it has to do with his father, that he is gone, and Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, excuse me, believes that he is still alive. And that sets up where our story is going to go. And I think that if it is done well, it's going to be a fun adventure kind of story where a lot of people, including myself, get to revisit um, all these Pokemon and, you know, feel that kind of connection. And for the people who still follow it, 
who are my age, are, I think are also really going to enjoy it if the Pokemon are used well in the movie and, and serve their purpose, which to me, um, it looks like they probably will be. So that's really cool. And I thought the music choice for the trailer was great. And I just, I think that it's going to be fun. I think that it's going to be a well-made, fun movie about a property that a lot of people love or have loved at some point. And, and yeah, I, I don't really have anything negative to say at this point about anything that I've been shown. So, I mean, I know my boyfriend is really, really, really excited to see this movie and he is probably going to be very happy that after bugging me to watch this trailer, I've watched it and that my excitement level is growing because he knows how apprehensive I am about this. But what do you guys think? How are you feeling about the trailers that have been put out? Are you going to go see this movie? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, all my links to my social media are down in the description if you want to find me there. I also have a link to my letterbox account where you can check out what movies I've been watching and how I've been rating them. As always, thank you guys so, so much for all of your continued support. Please hit that like button down there if you've enjoyed what you've seen, and I will see you all next time.